Hey guys, Mikey Thomas here, um, posting on YouTube again for the first time in a while. Uh, I don't know how many people are going to remember this, but um, back a few years ago, I used to post unboxing and stuff on my YouTube all the time. Um, I had a different YouTube channel. But <clears throat> since I cannot seem to post um, long videos on Instagram anymore, which is, you know, was my, my usual thing to do, um, I figured I would post uh, here instead. Um, I have a package from my friend Snowy. Um, there's some really, really cool stuff in here. Most of it is pretty rare. Um, thought you guys might like to see it. A lot of it you probably haven't seen before. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. taking a little longer than it usually would. There's duct tape all over it, <laughs> so just hang tight. There's one side anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with to start this with the odd man out. Got a plush of Scooby Doo, made by Applause in 1990. This is a really rare pup named Scooby Doo plush. Um, my friend that sent me this package is uh, from Europe, and I actually found this guy on Vented France. Um, I got him for five dollars. That's really really cheap for this guy. Um, he's pretty dang rare. And I say he's the odd man out because um, this is uh, like the one thing in this entire box that's not like the others. Um, particularly if you guys are big fans of An American Tale, Five Goes West, you're gonna love the rest of this box. Um, but yeah, there's Scooby to start it out. He's a little smaller than I thought he'd be, but that's not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna probably get him like a custom dog tag or something since his seems to be gone. Um, very cute. Oh, ha! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, so excited. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Um, <clears throat> okay. Next, we have a, um, a flocked figure of Wiley Burp from Five Goes West. Uh, this is the one thing in the whole box that is not for me. Uh, I actually got this from my friend Bodhi. Um, actually, that's not entirely true. He and I went in on these together. Um, it's him and uh, one other that you'll be seeing in a minute. But this one is from my friend Bodhi. I don't know where these originated from, but they are not common. They're really nice, though. Love the attention to detail. Um, the colors are good on him. He could use a gentle uh, lint rolling by the looks of things, but it's nice. I'm gonna put stuff over here, which means I'm gonna have to make room. <laughs> okay. Okay, 
in addition to the figure of Wiley Burp, I also have one of Catterwall. <laughs> His cape got messed up. Hang on. Um, yeah, this one is for me. Uh, oh my god, I just noticed she's got whiskers. I didn't notice that before. Very nice. Again, once again, attention to detail on him. Um, he looks like he should. I mean, his colors are a little off, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I think if um, the flocking were to come off, it might be a little more vibrant. You can sort of see where it's flaked off just a little bit. These are a lot bigger than I expected them to be, too. They're really good size. I have no idea where I'm going to put him, but I'll figure it out. Just him there. Next, saving the best for last, get that out of here. Got a um, European uh, Five Goes West board game. Um, <clears throat> so once again, I got this on Vinted, and at first I thought it was a book. Like, I thought it was a storybook. It was a little later on I realized it was a board game. Um, and when I realized that, for some reason, uh, that was what sold me. <laughs> it's just, um, that wound up being why I wanted it. The box is kind of beat up, but... Um, I was able to go into Goog Translate and found that the game is complete. Can't really... Oh, great, it's even got the instructions. Um, all the pieces are there, so, you know, that's nice. Kind of a cool thing. I really just got it for collecting. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but my idea was to put it somewhere in my room, so yeah, I'll figure that out. There's not any more room on that table, so I'm going to put that there. And then, last but not least, probably the farthest thing from the least. I am so excited for this. Um, <laughs> oh my god. I, I, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm way too excited. I found an authentic plush of Caterwall. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. He's so cute. It's a good size too. I can't believe I said last but least. That was like the last thing on earth I would have meant. I am so excited for this guy. Oh my god. Again, like with the flogged figures, um, the colors on him are pretty much perfect. I mean, he looks very, very accurate to the movie, um, which is really funny because I think this plush came out probably about the time the movie did, maybe 1991. Um, there were also um, plushes that came out of him in America, or just one, um, in Universal Studios theme parks, probably about the same size as this guy. Um, I think he's got to be, I don't know, 13 or 14 inches tall, maybe 15 with the hat. Um, they're not common. I found this guy kind of on complete accident. Again, um, vented France. This is kind of what, like, started this whole package off in the first place, was I found this plush when I wasn't expecting to. And, um, yeah, my friend helped me get him. Um, this is bar none my favorite thing in the entire package <laughs> oh my gosh um i also have another plush of him that's um commissioned uh like it's not authentic but it's a nice plush too i'm more attached to this one to be honest um he's a little he's a little disheveled it looks like but not by much just you know easy fix but my god um in spite of how rare he is he's probably gonna go on the bed tonight um, you absolutely just love him. Um, she sent me pictures a while back of his touch tag, and I mean, he's definitely, um, like, he's definitely, um, a European plush. He's, he's not from here. Um, the one that we did get from here, uh, looks, well, pretty samey for the most part, but, um, he's... <laughs> He's a little more disturbing looking, like he's got a unibrow and his eyes are like glass bead eyes. It's kind of creepy, but um, no, I really like this one a lot. I prefer this one to the other one for sure. Um, yes, very excited about this guy. I love it all. Um, <laughs> 
Bodhi, I will have him and your stuff out as soon as I possibly can. You know, send me a message or something. We'll work out shipping. But yeah. And um, Snowy, thank you again for everything. I don't think there's anything else in the box. No. Um, I love it all. Absolutely love it. Um, thank you guys for watching. This has been Mikey Thomas. See you later.